Welcome. We are here at the Den in San Dimas, California, and it's time for another episode of Behind the Band. If you're a regular subscriber, welcome back and thank you so much for your support. Your monthly subscription is helping support the band you initially followed. And at the Den, we're all about supporting our local musicians. So we're grateful a portion of your proceeds actually go back to your favorite band. If this is your first time here, then I guarantee you're going to love it. My name is Aliyah Becerra, and I will be your host tonight. So get ready for an awesome live music performance, interviews, and a chance for you to ask the bands any questions live in our Q&A segment. To participate, locate the chat window at the bottom of your screen, open it up, and fire off any questions that you may want the band to answer. Tonight's band has performed at events alongside bands like Korn, Alien Ant Farm, Panic at the Disco, just to name a few. They are a female-fronted progressive rock band, and their style ranges from punk to grunge and alternative to metal. Playing outside the box, this band does not let itself be defined by one single genre. So get ready for a ride. I had a chance to chat with Haven before the show, but before we show that video, The Den would like to remind you that as a subscriber, not only do you get this concert, but you have access to all of our other concerts. We have had some amazing artists and bands play here, and you may be here to support your local favorite band, but your subscription gives you the opportunity to discover some new music as well. Check out the past shows, and I guarantee you'll find something, at least one song that you'll want to add to your playlist. Playlist. Now, check out the conversation I had with the band. What's up, everyone? My name is Aaliyah V, and welcome back to another episode of Behind the Band. We're here at the Den in San Dimas, California, and today I have the pleasure of chatting with Denise, Spade, Dave, and Sticks, otherwise known as the Band Haven. How is everybody doing today? Good. 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 Awesome. So, we're coming off a very crazy year, to say the least. How did you guys navigate being musicians in the middle of a pandemic well one thing one thing we did uh, as a matter of fact uh, just when the pandemic began our last show was was a really good show we had a lot of momentum going right. we uh opened for the 90s band sponge which was pretty exciting uh, shortly after that we were even talking about it like after the show about the pandemic what is this what's going to happen and sure enough you know it is it what happened happened and uh we decided not to not do anything we we decided to do some recording we right. released an ep uh it was just a some some quickie songs it was out in november of 2020 and it did pretty good it was uh, on online radio stations we got some interviews it was, it was fun yeah it seems like it dropped just at the right time just to get everybody through that last final hump of the pandemic right True. Yeah, exactly. okay so you guys have a very unique sound um, i think it's described as progressive rock but really that's an umbrella term because you guys encapsulate everything from punk grunge alternative and kind of everything in between what really appealed to you guys as a band to want to explore all these different genres as opposed to just one single genre I would say because each one of us comes from a different influence, a different background. We have a guy who's in speed metal. We have another one who came from the influences of punk and then another in grunge and me in jazz and show tunes in grunge. <laughs> so it's just these um, different backgrounds. When we came together, we found that we ended up learning from one another and helping one another sort of progress and expand our contributions to the band as a whole so everybody everybody over the years uh, has just sort of continued to grow and and learn from one another right and picking one genre would be boring <laughs> <laughs> right well, you guys certainly execute it very very well because your music is so fluid do you imagine it being extremely different this time next year or have you guys kind of uh, created something that a sound that you're very comfortable with you think you've perfected and you want to continue to go with that I think I think we are at the beginning of something that we will continue to make fluidly in terms of hey let's try to use more influences that we've learned along the way and kind of create more content where it's similar we have we have similarities in the music but we are very open to opening it up and being like, okay, let's try and make it sound more poppy. Right. Let's try and see how heavy we can get, how dark or 
hey, let's just try to make people dance with this song and see what happens. And however we finish writing it, that's how it'll be. Or once it's completed, hey, you know what, that was cool, but let's focus on this aspect of it instead. You know, I think in the future we'll have a lot of more variety, more than we have now. Right. And you guys are a band of four, which I'm sure comes with some challenges, but also uh, some advantages, right? How do you guys navigate opinions and just all the different kinds of sounds and the trajectory that you want your band to go in? I mean, I'm sure it works in the way that there's a ton of creative juices flowing all the time, but in a sense, there's almost too much, right? So how do you guys filter and ultimately agree on your sound? We've known each other for so long mm -hmm. that I think we've overcome all of uh, any adversities, if you okay. will. <laughs> we've kind of gone to the point where we're really open to each other's ideas and contributions. And I don't know, does mm -hmm. want to add to that? Yeah, no, I, I think that, that we're pretty honest with each other and, and mm -hmm. we listen to each other. And, and like I said, we're just a really tight, tight unit. Who's uh, the most risky when it comes to sound? Would you say in the group? I I think that would be me. And you. <laughs> I, I, I come. I have the ideas. Like, okay. like let's try this crazy idea. I have. Right. And it may not be me on guitar. It'll be like, I just thought of this. If you do this on drums and we do this, the whole thing is gonna pop so nice. Right. And I feel like every band yeah. kind of needs that, right? If someone to think outside the box. You guys have performed along some very incredible and talented and well-known artists. Um, Korn, even alternative hip-hop acts like Shwayze, uh, Panic at the Disco. Yeah. Who has been an artist or band that you all have been extremely excited to see your name featured next to on the lineup? Corn. Corn. <laughs> I love how it was like collective yeah, yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. I was gonna ask like this could be collective yeah. or individual. So okay, that's super, super awesome. Yeah, what what why do you say that? I uh well for myself, Jonathan Davis is pretty amazing. Um his ability to just scat and, and deliver this really hard aggressive music, only the message is just this just sweet Pain, this pain that this guy has gone through—it's just—it's so amazing. His his music is amazing, and his his stories, and he's delivering them so raw. And I think everybody kind of connects with appreciating his authenticity as an artist. Love it. Um, has there been a pivotal moment as a band or individually that you all have experienced in your musical career where you really thought to yourself, like, "Wow, this could really be something big." Um, I really feel like there's something here. Have you guys experienced that yet? Yeah, we've had some some nice memories. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, being in a band, it fluctuates. I have an right. amazing year and then a kind of moderate right. year, but we've we've won some um, indie music awards. Oh, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, a uh, fun one was at the Rose Bowl with a red carpet and we had to dress up. <laughs> Limo ride. Limo ride. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Yeah, yeah I was like, oh, we're <laughs> yeah. musicians. <laughs> we did that thing where you walk the red carpet and there's that giant board, you know, with all the... The backdrop uh, with all the yeah, sponsors the and yeah. everything. <laughs> and we got to stop and pose, you know, and do all that stuff. It was Love it. Cool. Yeah. All righty, guys. Well, thank you so much for stopping by the den. Um, we're super excited to catch your performance. And then once again, guys, if you want to tune in to our live Q&A, that is coming up next. So go ahead and click that chat box in the bottom right corner.